In this video, I'm going to prove a couple of tricky little trig identities that um, I have received requests for from a couple of you. So I thought I would do them and post them because they are a little bit tricky, but they're not impossible. And I'm sure once you've seen them once, the next time you see it, it's just going to be so easy. It's always the first time around, right? So here's the first one. It says sine 2 theta plus cos 2 theta squared equals all this stuff over here. So obviously, the first thing I want to look for is what side should I work with here? Now, this is, if this could be easily factored, I might think about it, but um, mm, not sure that's going to be too easy to do because there's not really a common factor. Another little clue here is that I have a plus one on this end. And note that on the left side, I have two thetas. And on this side, I only have theta. So obviously, if I'm going to work with this left side, I'm going to have to convert these two thetas into a double angle formula that gets rid of the two theta part of it. Okay, so I'm going to work with the left side. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this binomial. So remember when you um, expand a binomial, you square, you do twice the product, and you square. So if I square this first side here, I would get sine squared 2 theta. Remember, you're only squaring the function, not the angle. So square twice the product, so that's going to be 2 sine theta, sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta. And I square the last term, it's going to give me plus cos squared 2 theta. Okay, so at this point, you're going to say, whoa, I still have lots of two thetas. Now I even have more than I started with. But if you take a little look here, you'll see that, that sine squared two theta plus cos squared two theta, that's equal to one, right? Because cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is one. <clears throat> it's a Pythagorean identity. It doesn't matter if they're squared and um, it doesn't matter if they're uh, double angled or not. It's this that this thing squared plus this squared equals one. So in my next line, I just really have now this, two sine two theta plus, uh, sine two theta cos two theta, not plus, plus one. So I've replaced this and I'll write it on the side here. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. Okay, so now that I've gotten rid of this this part, I only have to work with these two. Now, if I look to the right, I have sine cos and sine cubed cos. So I have to be careful in what I choose for the cos 2 theta, because as you know, cos 2 theta has three different possibilities. So I don't have much choice with the sine 2 theta, so I'm just going to write that as um, 2 and then 2 sine theta, 2 sine theta, cos theta. Remembering that sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta, cos theta. Okay, so what are my choices now for cos 2 theta? Let's take a look at the formulas that you should be thinking about here. And the first one, of course, is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Or I could have 2 cos squared theta minus 1. I don't know, some teachers let you uh, take in a little sheet of, of identities. Some aren't quite so nice. Okay, so I have 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, 2 cos squared theta minus 1, or this one. So I want to put in something here for cos 2 theta. Don't forget, we still have the plus 1. I want to put in something here that when I expand, I'm going to get... Um, a sine cubed theta. So if I need a sine cubed theta, then I'm going to have to use this one or this one. But I don't have a cos cubed theta. So if I put in cos squared theta minus sine squared theta here, I'd have a cos cubed theta and a sine cubed. But over here, I only have one. The rest are just sines and cosines. So the obvious choice for you should be that you want to use this one. So I put in 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Now, 
sometimes you can see right away that this is just going to work out perfectly for you because if I expand this, I'm going to do that first, just so you see. I'm going to write 4 sine theta cos theta. And that might have even been a good thing to do before you chose this one, because now you can see that if I multiply it by 1, I'm going to get that one. And if I multiply by minus 2, I'm going to get minus 8 sine cubed theta. So that's what I want to do. Oh my goodness, there it is right there for you. And like sometimes these things don't look so obvious until you, you plug things in and you try. Now, remember that it's always a good idea to write out your identities before you begin because it helps you see what you should be getting to on this side of the equation. So now I expand and I get 4 sine theta cos theta, just multiplying it by 1. Now times minus 2 is going to give me minus 8 sine cubed theta cos theta plus 1. And then you should also write that right side equals, and then you re, just rewrite what was in the initial equation, cos theta minus 8 sine cubed theta cos theta. It was very long. And I can say that life, left side is equal to the right side, and some teachers like you to write QED when you're done means, therefore, it has been proven. Okay, so that was... That was easier than it looked, wasn't it? And same thing with the next one. I'm going to show you that this one is also much easier than it looks. Um, again, we have a sine 4x on this side, and we have, oh, look, there's another 8. This time it's cos x cubed. Is it cos x cubed or cos cubed x? It's supposed to be cos cubed x. Forget that. Sine x minus 4x, 4 cos x sine x. Okay, so sine 4x, that looks a little difficult. This, there's not too much you can do. You might factor out a 4 cos x, maybe, but then you're going to be stuck with another mess here. So we're going to look at the left side here first. So I'm going to write left side equals sine 4x. Now, what can I do with a sine 4x? Well, sine 4x is the same thing as me writing sine of 2x plus 2x. Okay, remember that you can break it down like this. And that, of course, leads you right into a sum formula for cos. And remember that the co oh, sorry, why did I say cos? That's my eraser. I mean sine. What's the sine of a plus b? Your addition formulas, sine of a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So you just switch them around, right? One of each. So if it's 2x and 2x, and I plug in 2x, 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 then I'm just going to end up with something really simple. This is going to be the sine of sine 2x cos 2x plus sine 2x cos 2x, right? Same thing, because in this case, our a and b are the very same. So that means I'm going to end up with two of these. So I have two sine 2x cos 2x. Okay, so now I'm in the same state as I was in the question above. And that is that if I look to the right-hand side here, I have cos cubed x sine x cos x sine x. So I want to replace my 2x or double angle formulas here with something that gets rid of the 2x's because these are all just x. So back to the original sine 2 theta. Is that still on the screen here? No. Sine 2 theta or 2x is 2 sine theta cos theta. So that's my first one here. I'm going to put 2. And then I'm going to write 2 sine x cos x. So that gets rid of this one. Not rid of it, replaces it. And the cos 2x, again, I want to use something that's going to give me a cos cubed x this time. So my options are either mm, this first one here. But again, if I put in a sine squared and I multiply it by sine x, I'm going to have a sine cubed. There's no sine cubed here, just a cos cubed. So I want to use 
this formula here, the two cos squared theta minus one, right? Because that's going to give me a cos cubed. So I'm going to put that in here. So I'm going to say two cos cubed x minus one. And now just expand it. So like in the first question, I'm just going to put in the two. So it gives me four sine x cos x. And I'm multiplying that by two cos squared x minus one. And you can see right away that as soon as I expand this, I'm going to have my eight cos cubed, cos cubed x sine x, and four minus one minus four. It doesn't matter if it's cos x sine x or sine x cos x, right? So I get eight, and uh, we'll put the coses first, just so we match with the x of the top one, cos sine x, n times minus one, minus four, and I'm just going to rewrite it the other way. Doesn't matter. And there we go. So then, of course, you still have to say right side equals, and you write your cos cubed x sine x minus 4 cos x sine x. And I've said now that left side is equal to right side q e d. Yay! You can do it too. Okay, just a little couple of tricky ones to help you along your way. And I'm the thing with trig identities is once you've seen it once, it's really easy the second time, right? Have a great day. Subscribe, tell your friends, and comment, like, share, all that lovely stuff. And thanks for watching.